Good evening, and welcome to the 122nd Annual Commencement Ceremony for Murfreesboro High School. My name is Cody Ellermeyer, and I have the privilege of being the principal for Murfreesboro High School. I would like to welcome all of the families and friends of tonight's graduates. Also, welcome to the school board, administration, 
faculty and staff of Murfreesboro Community Unit School District 186. And most of all, welcome to the graduating class of 2023. <laughs> On behalf of the graduating class of 2023, I would like to ask for your cooperation and remind everyone to, be, to respect all of our graduates as we honor them tonight. Please remain seated throughout the ceremony. Joining me on stage tonight, Superintendent of Murfreesboro Schools, Dr. Andrea Evers. <laughs> Murfreesboro High School Assistant Principal, Mrs. Heather Sunny. <laughs> District 186 School Board President, Mr. Kevin Beavers. <laughs> School Board Vice President, Mr. Shannon Green. and members of the District 186 Board of Education, Mrs. Cheryl Brazel, Mr. Troy Brown, Mrs. Jamie Evaldi, Mrs. Tara Judy, and Mr. Jeffrey Wilson. And now, please stand as we welcome the MHS Choir under the direction of Mrs. Jessica White as they present the National Anthem. Senior choir members, you may join your choir. band and choir. As the choir members are seated, please join me in welcoming to the stage Miss Ashley Zlotnicki in the reciting of the Pledge of Allegiance. Class of 2023, look at where we were at. All of our lives, all we have wanted to do was grow up. From a young age, it was always, I can't wait to reach double digits. I can't wait to be a teenager. I can't wait to drive. I can't wait to be 18. And here we are, grown up and ready to graduate. But we all still have so much more growing to do. Some of us together and some of us alone. I cannot wait to see how we all wonderfully grow in age and character. Now please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you.
Please welcome to the stage Grayson Guthman and Matthew Kennedy as they welcome the graduating class of 2023. Good evening, students, parents, guardians, grandparents, faculty and staff, and everyone else. Thank you for joining us here in celebration of the class of 2023. It's an honor to have you here supporting our class. When trying to find a way to start the speech, we both scoured the internet and stumbled upon a wiki how. In this wiki how, it suggested starting off with a couple of inspirational quotes. The first quote is by Abraham Lincoln. Always bear in mind that your own resolution to success is more important than any other thing. And the second quote is by Oprah. You know you are on the road to success if you would do your job and not be paid for it. Now that I've inspired you all, I would I will pass on to Grayson. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. I, for one, feel deeply inspired. But in all serious, today, today is a very special day in each of our lives, seeing as it concludes our time here in the Murfreesboro School District and marks the beginning of our future endeavors. Getting here tonight has been quite a difficult journey, yet it has created many opportunities for long-lasting memories that will be cherished throughout our lifetime. Our time here at Murfreesboro High School has, been, has given each and every one of us a chance to grow nearer to our peers and find lifelong friends throughout the years. These friendships will help immensely in transitioning ourselves away from high school and into our separate paths that each of us will embark on. High school has played a tremendous role in shaping who I am today, and I'm sure many of you can relate to that as well. I will sincerely miss this school and all the fun memories that we have made throughout the halls, but I'm excited to see where each of us will take our lives in the future. Saying goodbye to everyone is going to be hard. No more caffeine addicts, no more fiddling with your lock until you manage to get it open, no more constant bumping in the halls, and last but not least, no more poker games during our free time in class. It really is the little things, though. We may not think about them now, but they are what make us us. We stand here now with one simple request. <laughs> Just never let these things go. We want you to think back on all the lunch with your friends, late night meetups in the parking lot, and the, all the things unique to you. Although it may be, have been difficult to appreciate our journey along the way, take a moment now to really take it in. T take in the last time we will be, all be together in one place as a class. With all that said, we would like to thank you for joining us here tonight on this special day, and we hope you enjoy the rest of the ceremony. At this time, if I could have the senior choir come forward to sing this year's senior song, Time of Your Life, by Green Day, accompanied by guitarist, senior graduate, Benjamin Barringer.
something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you had the time of your life. Something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you had the time of your life. <laughs> that was so fire. That was so fire, guys. How about a round of applause for our senior choir and Benjamin Berenger. <clears throat> Here tonight to make the traditional acts presentation to the junior class are seniors Bridget Bailey and Devon Clemens. And here to accept the presentation of the acts are juniors Megan McNitt and Carmelo Abernathy. On behalf of the senior class, Devon and I bear the axe. The axe represents the responsibility that seniors face as they enter into the adult world. It also represents, <laughs> it also represents the leadership that seniors provide to younger students in the school. I would now like to present the axe to the class of 2024. Congratulations and good luck in the upcoming year. On behalf of the class of 2024, we proudly accept this axe and all the responsibilities that come with holding it. We are privileged to be recognized as the new axe holders and promise to carry on this great tradition in years to come. We are extremely grateful for this honor and will take care of the school after you are gone. We would also like to congratulate the class of 2023 and wish you luck in all your endeavors after high school. At this time, I would like to ask School Board Vice President, Mr. Shannon Green, to come to the podium for a special military presentation. Good evening. Several years ago, we started a tradition of honoring and celebrating our graduating students who have made the decision, signed the paperwork, and or passed the MEPS exam to serve this great country by entering into military service. As an Air Force veteran myself, I know how this commitment will change your lives forever and our country for the better. Your bravery is admirable and our community cannot thank you enough. As a token of appreciation, you will be given a military coin as you cross the stage. The coin has the illustration of the Murfreesboro High School mascot on one side and the other has the five branches of military along with the core values of duty, honor, integrity, honesty, loyalty, and selflessness. When I read your name, please stand and remain standing. To the audience, please hold your applause until the end so we can join together to thank them. Franklin Eovaldi, United States Air Force. Kirsten Savanda, United States Navy. Nadia Warner, United States Navy. Now, if you three would please turn around and face the audience. Would all current and former members of the military please stand and remain standing. Now for you three graduates, now for you three graduates, please take a look up in the stands. Find a familiar face as standing. My ask for you is this. Before you leave for basic training, get this individual's name and number in your phone. I have no doubt today that all of your families are extremely proud of you, but I also know that each of these men and women standing hold a special place in their heart for you. We have laced up the boots that you're about to be issued and we have carried the torch of freedom that you will soon be blessed to hold. 
There will come a time in your military career that you will need some advice. During these times, I encourage you to pick up the phone and make the call. We will answer, I promise. Whether it's 2 p.m. on a Friday and you just got promoted, or 2 a.m. on a Sunday and you just need someone to talk to, pick up the phone, make the call. We will answer, I promise. During your tenure, you will make friends that will become brothers and sisters for life. You will go places and do things you never imagined possible. And all the while, you will be creating stories that you will someday share with your grandkids. Well, most of these memories you should be able to share with your grandkids. <laughs> and after you travel the world, protecting our freedoms, don't forget where home is. We will be here, waiting. Please join me in thanking these individuals for making this commitment to our country. May God bless you and keep you safe. At this time, I would like to introduce to you tonight Catherine Herzog, Caitlin Monty, and Caden Robinson to present the senior class address. Gabe, please. Thank you. Good evening, or in a more metaphorical sense, I should say good morning. For four long years, you have lived through the morning of your lives, the dawn of things to come. This dawn has not always been rosy or golden. It hasn't always illuminated clearly the things to come. Throughout my life, I've experienced numer numerous oscillations between success and failure. At times, I've been at the peak of life's metaphorical mountain, and at others, I've been pushed to the bottom of a dark valley. Every one of us will experience failure in some shape or form throughout our lives, whether we want to or not. While we may not be able to control when that failure will come, it is certain that we can change how we react to our setbacks. As humans, we tend to subconsciously put a focus on the negative aspects of life. There have been times where I found myself knocked down by life's trials. During those low points in my life, some of the people around me tried to keep me down. Thankfully, I've learned to lean on the people that build me up. In a world full of darkness, it is important to remember that darkness can hide beauty within its depth. I encourage all of you to surround yourselves with people that bring out your full potential and illuminate your goals. After all, iron sharpens iron, so don't let yourself become dulled by simple-minded humans. While supportive people may be hard to find at times, I know that all of you on this field have people that care about you, and I want to ensure that you never forget that fact. I am here on this stage today because I have seen the darkness, and I know that it is only temporary. As Gwen Brooks said, even if you are not ready for the day, it cannot always be night. And just like it cannot always be night, the dawn will not last forever. Now I would invite you to look away from the peaks and valleys of dark and light at your back. You are past the dawn of your life, however rosy or grim, and now sit in the clarity of midday. It's as William Shakespeare said, what's past is prologue. Or simply put, every moment you have lived thus far is the build up to who you are now. To impress this point, I would like to leave you with one final lesson. It's not a complicated one and it doesn't involve any more Shakespeare, so don't worry. My mom is a therapist, so I was introduced to the concept of mindfulness at a young age but I realized that it may be an unfamiliar idea to some. 
My mom taught me that mindfulness is the intentional awareness of your surroundings and the current moment. Simply, it is living in the now. This may sound obvious to some, where else would you live but the present? But if you would heal me for a moment, I would like all of us to practice some mindfulness together. First, calm your minds. Let go of the context that swamps this place. Let go of your worries for the future. Look around you. Look at the field before you. Look at the friends beside you. Try to etch this moment in your memory forever, as it is the last time you will ever be surrounded by the entire 2023 class. There will always be dark and light in your life. But in this moment, do not let that trouble you. No matter how challenging things have been, know that now it's only prologue. And no matter how uncertain things may seem, face them with a smile and know that you will persevere. However, in this moment, ignore these truths to be in the here and now. Because this here and this now only ever happens once. Now I would like to give this over to Caitlin for our closing remarks. We are now just moments away from the next chapter in our lives. In a few minutes, we will all be walking across the stage and stepping into our own futures. The future ahead of us is our dusk, mysterious, unknown, and exciting as it starts to get harder to see what is lying ahead of you the more you peer into it. It can be dreadful and daunting, but you must remember all the good things it can bring if you continue to put effort into it. As of today, we have reached the end of our high school journey, and we are all wondering what the next day will bring. In the next chapter of our lives, many of us already have a plan. Whether it's college, a job, a trade, a gap year, or anything else you want to do at the next phase of your life, go for it with all you have. A quote from Stephen Colbert says, You are about to begin the greatest improvisation of all, with no script, no idea what's going to happen, often with people and places you have never seen before. And you are not in control, so say yes. If you aren't sure exactly what you want to do, this is the time to try new things, make mistakes, and find what you like. Keep in mind that what you choose to do does not matter, as long as you love what you choose, are passionate for what you choose, and it brings you happiness. For Caden, Katie, and I, we are all planning on attending SIU, and we want to have a future where we can help the community. Caden plans to be a pre-med in biological sciences and learn what he's passionate about. Katie is going to study microbiology and plans to join the U.S. Public Health Service upon receiving her degree. And I will be majoring in nursing this fall in hopes to become a labor and delivery nurse. They're all worthy paths just as worthy as the past that will be walked by all that gather here today. Traveling into this dusk will not be easy, but know that there will always be people around you to guide you. We would like to remind you all to thank everyone that has supported you this far. Thank those who are here for you and remember those who cannot be here. And so we would like to thank those who have brought us here to stand before you. I would like to thank some of the people that ignited my own personal flame. Thanks to my doctor's compassionate care, I have discovered my future career. Thanks to my parents, I know how to stand up for my beliefs and morals, even when it seems that few of my peers agree. Thanks to Rylan, the most intelligent person I know, I have my own built-in best friend and competitor. I love you all. The person I am now would not exist without the consistent support of my parents. I was a strange kid and I still am. You're the reason I see that as a badge of pride rather than something to be ashamed of. I would like to thank my sister for being my confidant above anyone else. You've always been a safe place to express my emotions to and though I might not always act like I appreciate it, it's one of the greatest gifts anyone has ever given me. I would like to thank my sensei, Chris Wisman, for teaching me the value of hard work and giving me the confidence to know that I can accomplish anything. And finally, I would like to thank Jesse, Mav, and Katie J. You guys are my best friends, and no matter how many miles may separate us, that fact is immutable. Before I get into my personal thanks, Caden and I are beyond grateful for having received full scholarships to SIU, and we would both like to say thank you to Mr. Ellermeyer for believing in us and our future. Now I would like to thank my family. Thank you to my mom, who has always been my number one supporter at everything I do. Thank you to my dad, who is always unconditionally proud of me every step of the way, 
And thank you to my brother for always being there and becoming my rock and my most unlikely best friend. I additionally want to thank Mr. Reinhold and Mrs. Lockhart for being there for me always and always being teachers I could talk to. Everyone that has been involved in my journey is so appreciated, and I would not be standing here without any of you. I will leave you all with one final quote. It's from Winnie the Pooh, and I believe everyone here for you will want you to remember this. Always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. And from all of us, we, we made, made it. it. At this time, I would like to recognize our top 10 graduates scholastically. Students, as I call your name, please come forward to receive your plaque. Alphabetically, Drew Caldwell. Victoria Cunningham. Ethan Finke. Grayson Guthman. Katherine Herzog, Matthew Kennedy, Caitlin Monty, Taylor Raymond, Caden Robinson, and Ashley Zlotnicki. Please give one final round of applause for our 2023 top 10 graduates. Seniors that have maintained a grade point average of 3.75 or above achieve the distinction of being a high honors graduate. Graduates, as I call your name, please stand and remain standing until all senior high honors graduates have been recognized. Morgan Austin, Bridget Bailey, Benjamin Berenger, Ryan Blaze, Drew Caldwell, Victoria Cunningham, Isaac DeRossett, Nolan Ferguson, Ethan Finke, Lauren Gray, Grayson Guthman, Katherine Herzog, Taylor Huntsberger, Katherine Johnson, Matthew Kennedy, Courtney Kimmel, Lucille Kelberg, Isabel Lopez, Caitlin Monty, Vanessa Ostos, Taylor Raymond, Callie Rissi, Caden Robinson, Aaron Sanders, Mackenzie Stanton, Haley Torrance, and Ashley Zlotnicki. Please give a final round of applause for our 2023 Senior High Honors graduates. You may be seated. Seniors that have maintained a grade point average of 3.5 to 3.74 achieve the distinction of being a honors graduate. Again, graduates, if you would rise as I call your name and remain standing until all honors graduates are recognized. Zachariah Amelie, Madison Bennett, Caleb Castleberry, Dante Minor, Savannah Neff, Trenton Rabbit, and Anthony Valco. Please give a final round of applause for our 2023 Senior Honors Graduates. 
You may be seated. And at this time, I would like to introduce the superintendent of Murfreesboro Community Unit School District 186, Dr. Andrea Evers. Good evening. I started the super as superintendent in Murfreesboro during a global pandemic, and nothing seemed normal. But tonight certainly seems pretty normal. To me, goodbyes are always the hardest part. So I will give you some parting advice. As you leave Murfreesboro High School, remember to love yourself enough to do your best, be it in college, military, career, or any vocation you choose. Coach Dana Ford, head men's basketball coach at Missouri State University, spoke at SIU a few years back, and his message still resonates with me. He encouraged those assembled to do the next right thing. The next right thing may be studying for a test or spending extra time on a college research paper. The next right thing may be enlisting in the military and leaving your family for the first time to defend our country. Or it may be smaller things like showing up to work when you want to sleep in or standing up for the little guy or not quitting when times get tough or calling your mother even though you think you're grown. We all know what the next right things are. We just need to choose to do the next right thing over and over again. In closing, never doubt the impact you will have on the world. Mother Teresa once said, not all of us can do great things, but we can all do small things with great love. Beginnings are scary, endings are sad. It's the middle that matters. Make your lives matter. Work hard, be kind, and as you look ahead, don't forget where you came from. Thank you, class. Here we go. Dr. Evers, Mr. Beavers, District 186 Board of Education, members of our community. On behalf of the staff and faculty here at Murfreesboro CUSD 186, I certify that the students before you have completed the requirements to graduate from Murfreesboro High School. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pride and pleasure that I present to you the graduating class of 2023. And before we proceed with distributing diplomas, I would like to introduce once again Murfreesboro CUSD 186 Board President, Mr. Kevin Beavers. Good evening. I would like to start by congratulating each graduate here tonight, as well as their parents, family, and friends. This accomplishment gives each of you your ability to move forward in your own chosen path. So what you've been waiting for since kindergarten. Upon the recommendation of Mr. Ellemeyer, Mrs. Sonny, the faculty and staff of Murfreesboro High School, and by the authority vested to me by the Murfreesboro Community Unit School District 186 Board of Education, it is my pleasure to declare you graduated on this 20th day of May, 2023. Congratulations, God bless you, and from this day forward, you will forever be Murfreesboro High School alumni. Please welcome to the podium, Mrs. Heather Sunny, Assistant Principal, as she recognizes each graduate. Seniors, please come forward as I call your name to get your diploma. Right. 
Braylon Jamal Agnew. John William Alexander. Zachariah Dean Amley. Christian Moses Johnson. Alex Antonio Anaya. Myra Elizabeth Adaya. Onyeze Argoni. Sierra Lynn All. Morgan Renee Austin. Bridget Kathleen Bailey. Samantha Nicole Ballheimer. Benjamin Caleb Berenger. Madison Sydney Bennett. Ryan Allen Blaze. Caden Evan Bodkin. Zaria Anastasia Bonnie. Abigail Nicole Boucher. Raven Alejandra Boykin. Noah McKay Bryant. Abigail Rose Burris. Drew Cameron Caldwell. Michaela Alexis Camden. Caleb Thomas Castleberry. Laura Dionose Castro. Madison Paige Cato. Keely Marie Cheetah. Alexander Clark. Devon Marquise Clemens. McKenna Ray Clover. Madison June Klutz. Natalie Kathleen Colson. Alan Wade Cross. Victoria Lynn Cunningham. Isaac Clifford DeRosset. Timothy Michael Dixon. Rachel Mackenzie Dosh. Jacob Keaton Duffy. Caden Deshaun Eccles. Daniel Jaden Elliott. Franklin John Avaldi. Nolan Bo Ferguson. Ethan Douglas Finky. Nicole Followell. 
Gloria Rainique Ford. Brenea Ashley Frederick. Avery Ramil Gadsden. Natalie Lynn Gearhart. Michaela Lynn Gerler. Skyler Lynn Glisson. Lauren Brooke Gray. Jonath Riley Gregory. Gianna Marie Griswold. Grayson Albert Guthman. Kevin Dwayne Hale. India Emma Latrice Harris. William Michael Hawthorne. Catherine Lenora Herzog. Philip Ivan Heinemann. Grant Clint Hine. Dayton Daryl Hoffman. Ajani Amari Delexis House. Miles Christopher Howard. Brooklyn Paige Huffman. Jacob Sage Orion Hull. Taylor Catherine Michelle Hunsberger. Jacob Eli Emhoff. Trinity Grace Entz. Michael David Gines. Catherine Elizabeth Johnson. Mia Lynn Kelly. Matthew David Kennedy. Courtney Faith Kimmel. Lucille Wolf Kelberg. Wesley Kyles. LaKaylin Michelle Legrone. Efren Antonio Lemus. Deegan Bryce Leslie. Vimarion Christopher Lewis. Austin Michael Leinecke. Isabel Lorraine Lopez. Gabriel Michael Martin. Corey Leanne Mason. Felicity Marie Mayner. Christopher Michael Mays. Autumn Marie Mead. Annabeth Melcher Alvarez. Braden Ray Mifflin. Dante Germain Minor. Caitlin Elizabeth Monty. Jacqueline Tellius Myers. Savannah Lee Neff. Julia Irene Newby. Dolly Nicole Newton. James Edwin Nimmo. Vanessa Ostis. Isaiah Emmanuel Page. Hayden Roxanne Lucille Porter. Trenton Pierce Rabbit. 
Ariana Talia Rawls, Xander Ross Reeder, Taylor Grace Raymond, Callie Grace Rissy, Caden Wiley Robinson, Jessica Johanna Romero, Valeria Estefania Rulfo, Mason Wyatt Ryder, Aaron Joseph Sanders, Jesse Brian Robert Levi Schultz, Savannah Rose Schumann, Allison Faye Shannon, Jada Corey Danielle Shepard, Summer Nicole Spradling, Ryan Isabella Sprinkle, Elizabeth Ann Stanley, Mackenzie Connor Stanton, Damon Lee Stevens, Kirsten Iris Savanda, Haley Lynn Torrance, David Morgan Taylor, Owen Kenneth Tipko Sipkin, Catalyn Ray Tolbert, Anthony Michael Valco, Nathan Michael Weyer, Nadia Claire Werner, Jasmine Rose Whitehead, Alyssa Joe Williams, Amber Denise Wilson, Garrett Paul Worthen, S. Stephanie Shishoka Cruz, Ashley Nicole Zlotnicki. If anyone likes vegetables, there's plenty of carrots on the side of the stage. Thank you, graduates, I appreciate that. I would have much rather preferred golf balls. There's paper cranes. Thanks, guys. Yeah. All right. At this time, if I could have Drew Caldwell and Ethan Finke come forward for the official changing of the tassels. Life is full of symbolic gestures. Many of them are to celebrate or commemorate a milestone reached. Until now, we've celebrated them all together. As we've grown, we've moved forward to new schools together, celebrated athletic, academic, and artistic milestones together, and tackled the challenges of growing up together. The changing of the tassel symbolizes the change from dependence to independence, teenagers to adults, from having choices made for us to blazing our own trails. This is the last thing we will do together as a class of 2023 before we go on our own ways. It's been a privilege growing up with such a great class and celebrating so much of our lives together. Class of 2023, we made it. 
Please join me in changing our tassels from the right to the left to symbolize our transition from Murfreesboro High School students to Murfreesboro High School graduates. Definitely getting rowdier as we get towards the end. <laughs> At this time, we will have the senior class farewell presented by Miss Victoria Cunningham and Miss Taylor Raymond. years, 156 months, 678 weeks, 4,748 days. That's how long it took us to get here, and I know most of us would wish for one more. One more football game, one more dance, one more time sitting in the classroom. Good evening. It is our honor to deliver the farewell speech to the graduating class of 2023. Even though the both of us have spent four years in honors English, we still struggled to come up with ways to start our speech. So of course we went to the one and only Mr. White for advice. He told us that everything is possible. Throughout school we hear this quote every year but never truly understand the full meaning of it. When you sit down to think of the possibilities for our generation, they are endless. We are advancing in technology and progressing as a society. It is our job to keep pushing forward towards a better tomorrow. Our class will shape the future. We will become doctors, lawyers, teachers, biologists, and so many other things to help aid our towns. As we grow older, we will inspire others just like people have inspired us. Challenge yourself to improve and to grow, and even though you will fail at times, have the courage to keep moving forward. When we look into the future, it can be seen as a scary, nerve-wracking time, but we have already overcome and accomplished so many goals during our time in high school. Our freshman year, we faced the teacher strike and COVID, but also our first year of high school. Even though our class spent majority of our sophomore year split up, we still overcame obstacles and hardships that brought us here. This year, we finally had a tardy party, and after three and a half years of being late, we finally figured out how to get places on time. We have also had a very competitive year in sports. Our Devil Dazzlers won IDTA State our sophomore year and second place this year. The softball team were conference champions two years in a row and have won a regional championship. The varsity football team defeated Columbia and Macomb to advance in the quarterfinals. <laughs> Girls soccer has won the conference championship three years in a row and won the regional championship for the first time ever. The boys soccer team were conference champions this year too. Our class was undefeated and dominated in the homecoming powder puff games. And of course, it is all thanks to the best coaches ever, Mr. and Mrs. Geis. And although this class is full of athletic weapons, we could never beat the faculty in our senior versus faculty games. We have persevered through tough classes while working jobs and playing sports. Taking the same time and energy we put into these past four years, we can further ourselves and accomplish great things in our careers, families, and lives. We would like to take a moment to thank individuals who have impacted our class. For starters, thank you to the faculty, cooks, and staff for creating a clean, safe, and enjoyable environment for us to spend our past four years in. And thank you to all the teachers for creating bonds with the senior class that we will remember for the rest of our lives. We would personally like to thank Ms. Moe and Mr. White for making our speech possible and readable. But most importantly, we would like to thank Mr. and Mrs. Geis. Without them, our class would not be where it is today. We would have not have been able to win Powder Puff, have a great prom, a senior prank, and the limitless opportunities they set up for us. Ultimately, we would not have the incredible high school experience we did without you guys. Everyone needs to take a moment at some time to thank their friends, family, or whoever supported them throughout these years. And without their encouragement, none of us would have accomplished what we have to this day. After today, we will all go our separate ways, but each and every one of us will have one thing in common, we are the 2023 graduates of Murfreesboro High School. And we will share our Murphy pride with the world.
At this time, would you please stand as the Crimson Express plays the school song and fight song one last time for our graduates. <clears throat> Yes, if the senior band members would like to join their band, you are more than welcome. To the class of 2023, if I could leave you with a few closing thoughts. To begin with, I would like to congratulate all of the parents and people here that helped raise and direct these graduates to where they are today. Thank you to District 186 educators and any other educator that ever taught these graduates. Your efforts were imperative to our graduates walking across this stage tonight. Graduates, you have a gate that is opening tonight. And that gate opening allows you the opportunity to do whatever each of you want to do with your life. I hope each of you choose to win in life. Let's talk about winning for just a moment. I have become somewhat addicted to a YouTube channel called Motiversity this spring. You know, motivation, university, Motiversity. Yeah. It's a real thing. Check it out. Anyways, one of their videos is an interview with Tim Grover. If you do not know who Tim Grover is, he's kind of fitting for this year, class of 23. If you can think about 23, one person comes to mind in my head. MJ. Yep. Anyways, Tim Grover, he was the man behind the scenes training Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and even Dwayne Wade. Think about that. Imagine if you had the opportunity to train and work with MJ, Kobe, and D-Wade. He is their common denominator. In this Motiversity interview, he states that these three NBA greats were obsessed with winning. One of the pieces of advice he gives is to be obsessed with whatever your win is. Be all in. All in means to compete and hold yourself accountable in all areas of your life. Michael Jordan, he wins not just in basketball, he wins in business, he wins with his family. He makes a million dollars a day on the Air Jordan brand. A million dollars a day. So, be the person that is all in with whatever you choose to be all in with. Be the person that leads others to win because you win. He said when you fail, and you will fail, when you fail, your feelings are going to give you excuses. However, Tim Grover says your mind, your mind will overcome those feelings and excuses. You should not have excuses moving forward because you get to make the decisions for you from this day on. No longer will your teachers, 
or even me, no longer will your parents be the ones making you do things that you do not think you need to do. So no more excuses. Hold yourself accountable. Force your mind to overcome feelings and go win at life, whatever your win is. We will be rooting, rooting for you as you choose what your win in life will be. As we close tonight, I ask that you never forget that you are Red Devils. This means you will leave here and you will make something of yourself. This means that you will contribute positively to society. Most importantly, it means that you will be a good person. In a very complex world, I ask that you show love, help others, and make good decisions. Be a good person and a positive inspiration for the students that will now follow you here at Murfreesboro High School. Thank you for allowing myself, the faculty and the staff of Murfreesboro High School in District 186 to be a part of you and your family's lives over the past four years for us and up to 13 years for the other teachers at the other buildings. It really has been a pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to give to you the Murfreesboro High School Class of 2023. Enjoy the rest of your evening and please be safe. Thank <laughs> you.